is up YouTube? This is the vault here back again and today I've got you guys another 5D's um, stru uh, structure deck which is the Lost Sanctuary structure deck opening for you guys. So another 5D's yes because um, I was opening a 5D's uh, starter deck 2009 earlier before and if you guys haven't watched that video be sure to check that video out really really nice um, starter deck opening right there and yeah so this is uh, basically Lost Sanctuary and um, this card in the front is Master Hyperion, uh, Power of the Heavens. Um, so basically, it's an agent, agent's uh, structure deck. If you guys know about this agent archetype, maybe for some of you guys who are newer to the game or who just joined the game sort of like a couple years ago, may not have even heard of this archetype because this archetype is really old. But for those who know um, Mystical Shine Ball, and then there was these um, cards that are angels and fairies, I believe, and they were inspired off of the planets that we have. So, for example, Mars, Jupiter, Earth, and the Sun, um, which I will actually go on um, to explain more as you get to you guys more as we go through the cards later. And yes, this is a actually really old structure deck. I'm not sure when this came out, but I think possibly 2009 or 2010. M most likely 2009 or not 2008, but I think 2009. So just like 10 years ago, literally, that's a really long time ago. And I can't believe you can still find this product up to today because it, a 10 year old product is absolutely OG original. Well, not OG or original Doom Monsters, but OG original for 5Ds, absolutely, 100%. And yeah, let's check out the back. So strike down your foes with Celestial Fur Fury and prepare to command some of the mightiest monsters ever uh, dreamed of the planets of our solar system. When the planets collide in battle, make sure you're on the winning side by using Master Hyperion and the other new cards in this deck with an entire solar system on your side. How can you lose? Fully compatible with all the cards you already own. So yeah, and I remember back in the day as well, you buy three of these, you can make a pretty decent okay deck and pretty fun fun deck, not highly competitive deck. You know, Konami's been doing the three, um, multiples of three structure decks um, thing going around for quite some time already so it's been 10 years again so yeah buy three of these and you can back in the day you can make a pretty decent fun deck that you can play against with your friends and locals and win some tournaments but probably not regionals and or YCS back then for sure and for today's meta if you guys just just so you know this deck is actually not relevant whatsoever it's very slow it's nothing to, it can't play absolutely I believe um Maybe some of the cards will be useful. Maybe Mystical Shine Ball or Master Hyperion will be useful in current meta. But if you guys, anyone who's watching right now, if you guys have part of the Lost Sanctuary cards in your current meta deck, comment down below, let me know. Send me a video or something. I'm definitely curious if this deck is even playable in today's meta. But without further ado, let's just crack it open and see what cards and we can go for this archetype. Oh no, this one was tough to open. It didn't peel off nicely. Okay, we got... Okay, so we got, again, once, like, kind of really old packaging going on. So, back in the day, we even get this weird cardboard that just... We don't know... I don't even know why it's there, really. Maybe it's just to store up space and protect the space and protect the cards. So, I guess the box doesn't get crushed, but it's literally just a cardboard that you don't even use. And we have the official rule book, and that rule book does not apply to today's meta whatsoever. And then we got the deck list, uh, which we'll go through. And then we have the new cards and the whole agent series to how to play this deck. And yeah, the basic combos. And then, you know, extenders of cards that you can buy from different packs to add on to help this deck and bring it even further. So this deck actually relies um, really heavily on Lost Sanctuary. And that, that card is actually used heavily in the Counter Fairies deck as well. Um, so basically, yeah, the agents actually use Lost Sanctuary um, quite a bit as well. And I really wish if Konami actually came out with more support for these guys, because now they definitely desperately need a new support archetype and uh, support archetypes for the agents to make them even playable but maybe this archetype is just forgotten but i really like my uh, master hyperion's design just look at this lovely play mat really, really nice i'm not sure if you can even get this in a cloth rubber version but you know definitely love to have one of those if it's possible and these fiery wings so let's quickly open this okay so after fighting with it a bit i finally got it open man that plastic they didn't have that tab 
thing or a, a easy opening to even open that pack, uh, open up that um, packaging because you know this is a really old deck so that old packaging was actually tough to open now I remember so yeah first of all we have master Hyperion a light attribute fairy type and then we it's uh, level 8 I believe yeah level 8 and that is basically the key main card core of this deck so they introduced introduced master Hyperion to basically um, give the agent support back in the day and sort of like bring it back to make it viable or playable and make it as complete as a whole archetype so this is like the boss boss monster of the um, agent series so you can special summon this card uh, from your hand by removing from play one agent monster in your hand field or graveyard very easy very simple to summon very quick I think it's still pretty decent um, to play this card because you can just summon it so easily even in today's game meta but not too sure if it's even viable so once per turn you can remove from play one light fairy type monster from your graveyard to select one card on the field and destroy it so that's good that's a really powerful effect you can you know being able to pop any card on your opponent's side of the field which is really good back in the day and if sanctuary in the sky is face up on the field you can activate this effect up to twice per turn so that's really cool so yeah his effect basically really focuses on removing from play uh, the light fairy type monsters you have so you gotta have to bring your resources back in play um, with the banishing pile or the remove from play because that's what is used to be called yeah remove from play wow that is very nostalgic yeah so you have to be, play, be, be playing cards that can bring your banish cards back into your graveyard or back into your deck or however so so which is definitely really really essential so master hyperion is basically the sun as you can see, he's fiery, and he's he's actually holding the I think our Milky Way system of our galaxy, of of our universe, not our universe, but I think our galaxy. Not sure of the right term, but you know he's basically yeah, that's the galaxy orbiting. And yeah, he is the sun, and he is in the middle, so he is like the one to rule above them all in the center. And then now we have the agent of mystery earth so that is our planet that we live in so i believe it's a girl and she came out as a tuner so that to which basically helps synchro summoning for the 5ds era since it was focusing on synchro summoning and then we have the agent of miracles jupiter this was, was this was also new for this deck as a new support to help bring out and then now we're moving on to the older agent cards right here so we have the agent of judgment saturn and of course, you know, it explains that they, they have the planet names behind on each of their names at the very end. The Agent of Wisdom, Mercury. The Agent of Creation, Venus. So this card is really essential for this deck as well because it brings out your mystical shine balls. And to use your mystical shine balls, you can basically extend your combos even further by bringing out those monsters. And paying 500 life points is actually absolutely nothing. And then the Agent of uh, Force, Mars. So yeah, again, this is really old. And yep. Speaking of which, Mystical Shine Ball. Right? You only have one. There's only one in this deck. So yeah, that is why you definitely highly recommend to buy three back in the day so that you can get three Mystical Shine Balls to complete your deck. And we got Splendid Venus, which is really strong as well as a 2800 attack uh, fairy type monsters. And they also um, makes your opponent lose 500 attack uh, for non fairy type monsters. And we've got uh, Tethys, Goddess of Light, Victoria, Athena. Marshmallow, really strong card back in the day as well. Hecatrice, or Hecatrice. Uh, Shining Angel, Soul of Purity and Light, Arc Knight Parshaf, Nova Summoner, and got uh, Zeradius, Herald of Heaven. Honest, really, really powerful card, must run three, but I think it was like almost limited or even semi limited back in the day. But you know, you have to run as many honest as you can for this deck. Really strong card. And we got uh, Hanawatha, another a, a tuner monster. We got uh, Concentrate Light. And they've got cards from the sky, so your draw powers, and they've got Valhalla Hall of the Fallen, which basically lets you special summon your fairy type monsters, so to make the deck run faster. So this card was essential. Terraforming, definitely essential because it's going to be the next card that we're going to grab. A uh, note, which is not shown yet, but smashing. And then yes, Sanctuary in the Sky. So this card is actually essential for uh, the Agents deck because... Um, a lot of their extended effects relies on this field spell and having this field spell basically gives them that extended effect and extra effect to basically run even more combos and plays off so yeah we have two of those in this deck celestial transformation burial from a different dimension so this basically brings back your remove from play or banished uh monsters back into your graveyard so definitely 
useful. Go uh, Mausoleum of the Emperor. Solitary, really, really good card because um, basically all if you have all types of the same types, which are fairies, and you run all fairies in this deck, you know, you gain 800 attack. Really good. The Fountain in the Sky. And they got Divine Punishment. So a really good uh, counter trap card that combinates with the Sanctuary of the Sky. And then we got Return from the Different Dimension. Man, this card was so old, so nostalgic. Because this card is, I, I believe it's banned. It's been banned for a long time, long time. Probably like more than five years or even six to seven years or beyond that to be honest. This card is not playable in today's metagame even today. So this card was really strong. Basically, all you have to do is pay half your life points, special summon as many banished monsters as you want. Um, I'm not sure if it actually specifies um, whether it has to be on your opponent. Can, can you special summon the ones from your opponent's side of the field? But, you know, during the end phase, you just remove from play all those cards that were special summon this effect. And back in the day, you know, being able to special summon so much, so many monsters from your banished power, you can just quickly, you, you know, Synchro summon them, send them to graveyard, and or use them for Master Hyperion's effect. Pop them, pop, and pop cards on the field, which is really, really, really strong. Really, really powerful combo. And we have Torrential Tribute, Beckoning Light, Draw Power, of course, Miraculous De Descent, or Descent, which is definitely a must run for this deck as well because it was a really cool, nice um, tech card or core card for this deck or for this archetype because basically it's just special summon one of your banished fairy type monsters and it doesn't even have a restriction on level so you can banish master Hyperion, special summon master Hyperion back got two of those so really good and then last but not least to round off solemn judgment another really really good card that back in the day you know paying half your life points just negate any spell trap or summon of your opponent's monster can just really give you the high advantage after that on any game and yeah i'm not sure if this card is maybe this card is limited right now but again being able to get have, being able to have this card in the deck was just really really good really nice that's a really really awesome reprint as well so you know just a quick recap on back on our three new or not new but like the the, the three new back in the day um agent cards and master appearance is a really really cool card and just really hope konami actually releases more um agent cards or a new agent structure deck may hopefully we might be seeing a agent or lost sanctuary reloaded structure deck possibly hoping so you know basically bring it back to more today's current meta relevant relevancy which is really really nice so yeah once again master hyperion right here in the center and of course if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button like the video as much as you can well you can only like once anyways but you know Really appreciate the likes. Thank you so much for you guys for watching. Be sure to support the Evolt channel by subscribing. 100% definitely subscribe. Many, many awesome TCG and Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG openings on this channel. So be sure to check them out. Lots and lots of structured decks and starter deck openings. Be sure to check them out as well. And you guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. As always, this is Evolt signing out.